Oh, yeah. But none of that. None of that nonsense. We have a Mario and a Meta. Yep, starting on Pokemon Stadium 2, trying to start things off with the drag down forward air combos. Mass Mario stumping them out with the jabs, though. And I like that I'm seeing uh, more Mario players just activate Flood as soon as they can. It's so good in this game. Oh, yeah. Very, very useful. Even if you just push them off stage, get maybe like an off stage or a juggle situation going off from it, it's really, really good. Yeah, being able to push somebody to the corner of any type of fighting game stage is wonderful. It's a great thing to do. Also gives you a nice little snapshot of what they're trying to do as you hit them with the water. Because mm -hmm. you see exactly what move they were throwing out. All right, so Mario was a little tougher to combo in Smash 4. I believe the same probably still applies because of that nasty neutral air, really good combo break breaking tool. God, it, it, I think it's just normally stated, if you're from the Mushroom Kingdom, your Nair is probably preposterously strong. Oh, yeah. So, so good. S2H. There Trying it to go is. for that cross-up, but the jump Nair out of shield from Master Mario. Oh, that pivot grab, though. Yeah, he, he was able to get through him before he hit the ground, I think. That was so good. Yeah, you can now grab people in mid-air in this uh, version of Smash. Yeah. All right, going high with the fireball, then sinking back down low. Master Mario doesn't want to make his recoveries too obvious here. Huh, that, that was a really interesting defense throwing out the fireball full hop. Whoa! Smash attack for smash attack, though. Oh, S2H yeah. bringing it right back with that forward smash. Uh, honest attempt with the Nair from S2H, and it seems like it garnered him a bit of a positional advantage here. Okay, here's the down throw. Nice. The up smash here. Will he catch the juggle? Oh, that <laughs> he just Nair. got Nair'd. <laughs> yeah, that Nair, very, very pesky. Oh, yeah. It will remain pesky, I'm sure. Good back here as well. Yeah, just crossing him up as well with that Nair. Mm. And that, that's just one thing Mario will always be good at. He has insane air mobility and... His arrows are just so quick. Nair lingers for so long, so you can go for a lot of nasty cross-ups. And that air mobility is exactly what allows Mario to have such a crazy juggle game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Ooh, the forward smash being somewhat safe there. S2H not going to punish that. Coming in with the fireball, but I, I like how S2H now jumping around these fireballs, outmaneuvering them. Yeah, you really don't want to be near that fireball because more often than not, a Nair is going to follow. They can just follow with any old thing. Even a forward air is now safe on shield. Yeah, you have to space it right. Oy! Man, S2H not trying to go for the ledge, trying to go up and above, but Master Mario saying no to that. Getting that forward air dunk, man. Oh, now yeah. getting the grab and as well, already 36% on this Meta Knight. Yeah, and that's not a good place to be in another 20% or so. It's going to be kill percent. Yeah, stepping out with the jabs as well. Master Mario looking like he's in a great position, not even really in kill percentage as well. Mm. Oh, that water completely missing, yeah. S2H just running straight into a grab. That was definitely his time to shine when he uh, avoided that water. Oh, yeah. And, and the crazy thing about the flood, too, is there's not too much lag on it as well. Oh, he needed to hit the edge guard, send him back up. No jump. There's the dare. Directional air dodge might save him, but S2H is there to cover the lag. That was such a good dare. He was able, he, he knew the range of that move perfectly. Yeah. And pretty much there was no jump on uh, Master Mario, so he knew the only way he could come back is with a good directional air dodge and then up B. Mm -hmm. So he just intercepted that, did a really good job here. But he's got to survive now. He got the stock, but he took so much damage, he's got to return it. Oh, he almost ate a fat up smash, but he was able to hit him with the down tilts there. Okay, there's the flood propping S2H <laughs> oh, higher and dude. higher. Okay. Oh, wow. The, such patience from S2H. Yeah, there's so much moves he has to avoid. Um, a down air will definitely do it. Any kind of smash attack will definitely do it. Some good edge guarding, though, or some good ledge trapping from Master Mario. Okay, getting, he's hitting all these bears, but he's getting the sour hit. <gasps> the spot touch! Oh, wait a minute. Does he have jump? <gasps> That's it. Wow, what an edge guard. He knew exactly when to pull the trigger there. He was down so much percent. That was, okay. This man, S2H, was able to call out so many of Master Mario's defensive options. He would land on shield with something, spot dodge, and S2H just sat there and looked at him. Right. Like, now I'm going to punish you for spot dodging. Like, yeah. That was really clean. Yeah, and just knowing exactly when to make the play. You know, mo some mm. people might have been taking a little safer route, but S2H knows he's playing Meta Knight. He has to make these edge guards happen. He has yeah. all these jumps all these resources off stage you got to make something happen especially when you're down like that you got to be able to make these plays when you're back into a corner like that oh yeah yeah a lot of people like to play as if every single hit can kill them and s2h actually was playing a game where any hit could kill him yeah it's such a good job but now we're here game number two same stage though gonna get the run back 
And you know, all things considered, Meta Knight probably has the tiniest sword in the game. I think even Young Link's sword is bigger. But uh, a disjoint is a disjoint, and Mario hates disjoints. Yeah, very true. A little bit more committal, but we're definitely seeing S2H make it work. Oh, yeah. Definitely, uh, ha it's interesting. He's like this sword character that kind of has these like good closing options, you know, really good dash tag and stuff like that. It's a uh, very uh, interesting character for sure. Good maneuverability too with all of those jumps. Oh yeah. Oh, they got the sour spot on that forward air there. Tried to get the jab lock, but S2H oh. not giving it to him. And another <laughs> edge guard to follow the back air will seal out the first dog. He got the final hit of that. Yeah. And <laughs> essentially the one that matters. Oh yeah. The timing is essential here. And right now, S2H really taking this momentum and going with it. Already 34%, but Master Mario trying to answer back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see a lot of really safe options coming out of S2H. He's not really going for the crazy moves like the Tornado until it's really time to start popping off stage. Ooh, they're out of shield, but right now, Master Mario tightening up the ship, mm -hmm. not taking too much damage, and already just racking up all of this percentage on S2H, but he has to get the stock. Starting to see a little bit of the faltering in the spacing from Master Mario. Like, he'll do the back air, it's like straight into S2H shield. I I'm wondering if he's trying to get the cross up or if this is intentional. Could be. Okay, here's the up air string here. Is he going to follow with the shuttle loop? Yes, it does, but it doesn't kill, but we got a lot of damage off of Oh, yeah, and great positional advantage, too. Look at this. But uh, Master Mario is not going to take that hand that's lying down. Yeah, trying to catch this landing here. There's the grab. Going to go to the platform. Yes, but I like how S2H. Yeah, it out and then back to the left. Really, really good stuff. Took some damage, but didn't really let himself get like platform extended on. Yeah, just reestablish the neutral with the quickness. Ooh, and the down tilt thought the grab was coming, so Master Mario threw out the spot dodge, and man, S2H was already cranking that forest match. What a stock. What a yeah, seriously, S2H is just killing the spot dodge meta right here, this character. And these oh. landing forward air ones as well, just kind of popping them up in a really good position here for S2H. Does it right before he lands. Man, this must be so annoying for Mario, just watching this uh, this Meta Knight just do attacks, which just jumping over him and just not being able to hit him. Yeah, and these dares out of shield are doing wonders here for S2H. They really are. I'm starting to wonder if that's his fastest option, or at least has it seems like it has the uh, least amount of end lag. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like the position you put yourself isn't like forward either, so. Mm, has good range horizontally. Oh. Mario trying to seal out this stock with the up smash, but S2H. Wow. Ooh, barely killed. Yeah, I was going to say barely barely killing there like and that one thing about stadium too it has one of the lower ceilings mm. so got to be careful for that honestly only 52 percent here on master mario that is not that much one solid mario combo is going to bring this right back oh yeah but will s2h let him the shuttle loop just for the damage 85 percent here that's pretty demoralizing it makes your it makes them have to di in certain ways which kind of it's kind of nice for a character like Meta Knight because if you have to DI in a certain way every time to avoid dying, you basically already know where they're gonna go. Oh yeah, for sure. Ooh, <laughs> the footstool in the air. Okay, finally taking some damage here. Master Mario's gonna have to do a little bit of work here. Okay, can't. Oh wow, with the cross up as well, making it very safe. But SOH still has to be very careful. The stocks are even. Both these characters are combo characters, so you just gotta be really, really careful. Oh yeah. The edge Start. guard here, gonna be a little safer. Yeah. Barely hitting with the up B too, for Mario. Okay, both these players trying to roll to the center. Oh, gets the punish with the jab. Okay, tacking on some of this fireball percentage as well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, That's it's... Mario getting things started here with the forward air. It's starting to look a little even now. And when whenever a Mario hits a forward air, they just they just power up. Dude. Oh, the power up! <laughs> yeah, fire flower. Yeah, someone did. Yeah. <laughs> And that range on the forward smash, Master Mario taking a deep breather there. That was very, very close. Nice comeback coming out from the Mario, getting that tipper forward smash. Such a powerful move. The jacket comes off oh. from S2H. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. You already know what time it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. It's like, wait, I'm supposed to be the one making comebacks. Not you. Yeah, I mean, both both game one and two were very uh, comeback heavy. So yeah. we'll see how this game number three goes. Uh, I wonder if we're going to be on the Pokemon Stadium once again. And the answer is yes. I love this stage. Me too. All right, so starting things off, uh, both like, like we kind of pointed out throughout the whole set, you know, both these characters very strong at crossing up. You know, you have the multiple jumps coming out from S2H. And then you just have the uh, incredible air mobility that Mario holds. Oh, yeah. I think uh, S2, I think Meta Knight also has some, okay, like he's pretty floaty, but being able to have all of those jumps, it's, it's, it's really nice to be able to just land any way that you please. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely can have a lot of mix-ups. You have to be very patient when uh, committing up into Meta Knight just because he has all those jumps. Mm. You know, I'm not noticing Master Mario go for these grabs very often. Yeah, I, I feel like SOH is making it very difficult. He's playing very, very air-based. Mm. Yeah, these, these down airs are just like so, so good. Seriously, he, he has like a 70% hit rate and he's been throwing it out a lot. There's a grab on the tech chase though. Finally getting that. Oh, another one to, though. SOH committing into that shield. Yeah. And that's Mario bringing this right back. Trying to get that jump read as well. Oh. Wow. <laughs> He's like, okay, that was a cute forward smash. Yeah, Let me forward show you smash mine. for forward smash, man. And he got just the tip as well. Now, oh, is I there mean, a tipper on it? Oh, no, no, no. I, I think it's all set, but like he got the tip of it. Like, yeah. It's just max space. That's good spacing. Right now, Master Mario has to get this Meta Knight chasing him all over the place with all these downers as well. Any trade that doesn't kill S2H is going to be in his favor. Man, this is so unfortunate. A character like Mario likes to hit you with these up airs to start the combo train going, but uh, S2H is just always hitting with these down airs. It's hitting very, very accurately, very often. And S2H just abusing the range of that disjoint, like you pointed out. can be very difficult for Mario to get in on some of these sword characters, regardless of the range. Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom doesn't have swords for a reason. It seemed apparent. <laughs> Oh, wow. catching him. It's yeah. about time. It's about time we got that anti-air. Yeah, S2H thought he could uh, punish something on block, but wasn't quite quick enough, or the, the down air out of shield just wasn't quite guaranteed, and uh, Master Mario definitely taking advantage of that. Yeah, the invulnerability on the head, too. A little smaller than it was in Smash 4, but still able to kind of bypass the down air, at least at that percent. Oh, yeah. Back into the neutral here. See Master Mario going for that uh, cross-up or even the uh, spot dodge on landing here. Yeah, there's so many mix-ups you can do with that uh, that fireball. Like the full hop fireball, it's like I'm going to either cross you up or I'm going to grab you. Or do nothing. Y you have these options. Oh, oh barely. Master Mario trying to survive this onslaught right now. Oh, it's point blank fireball. Mm, that might have been unintentional. Woo. Gets the trade, but not just maybe. Look, looks like he traded with like, oh, oh wait a minute. Dodge. Oh, no. And you hate to see it like go like that. SOH was doing such a good job of controlling the pace of this entire game. He was up uh, pretty much 100 whole percent. Yeah, but we've seen Comeback City come from S2H. Yeah, it definitely can be done. Ooh. But Master Mario taking quite the, uh, quite the advantage here. As he should. Early up B as well. Can S2H seal it out off stage? No, hits him back on the stage, but nonetheless gets good damage here. But he just can't seem to close out the stock. That seems to be a big issue with Meta Knight from what I'm observing here. Like, he, he gets great kills off stage, but if they are in the neutral right now, I mean, Mario is about a midweight. <laughs> you would think that the upbeat would start killing it about this time. There we go. There's the back air. Yeah, like you said, just the, the on stage uh, kill options, kind of a little lackluster here for Meta Knight. You know, you have that really strong forward smash, but. I mean, other than that, so it's only so much time you, your opponent will drift in or run or walk into a forward smash. Exactly. And Master Mario seems pretty keen on uh, approaching with the fireball into whatever he pleases. Right. Yeah, such a great option to approach with that fireball or that thunder drill that some of the Pikas have. Such a good uh, just good approach option to, to come in with that hitbox of a projectile. Oh, yeah. Now, I even asked Master Mario on Twitter. It's like, how can I how can I stop Mario from doing that? He didn't reply to me, so it looks like he's trying to keep that a secret. <laughs> or he just doesn't like me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it isn't a transcendent projectile, so you can definitely swing through it. So you, oh, yeah, you can throw out a hitbox and beat out the fireball and, like, hit Mario at the same time. It's true. Okay, right now, both players trying to line up these forward smashes. Oh, I thought we were going to see an up B before that up, uh, that second up air there. Yeah, or maybe even a down air might have done it from that high up. Oh, yeah, down air is definitely an S-tier move here for Mario. Okay, both players playing it very, very patient. S2H is looking at that kill percent. Master Mario not so much, but looking very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, S2H is kind of on his way to a comeback. It's looking pretty even right now. Oh, the forward smash. It's threatening. And Master Mario just outside of the range. There's the back air to send him off stage. The jump gets burned early, goes right to the platform. That back air actually has perfect range. It outspaces Mario just perfectly. Oh, oh. wow. Flickered the shield. I think he tried to go oh. for a parry there. He gets the read, but he, he lets go of the trigger a tad bit early. Oh, no. Okay, we live in. I thought he was going to flood. Oh, that no. That did not hit from the front. He just not oh, going to make it. Oh, my God, dude. 
He waited too long, Massimaro laughing it off, but dang. That up smash was, was a good read. That was like spaghetti on spaghetti <laughs> on spaghetti, dude. <laughs> All over the floor. Oh my god. S2H is like, dude, that was so much more stressful than it had to be. He looks traumatized by that set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah. So next up we got, is this uh, 